this is a system that you can be able to use in terms on trying to automate creation of new pdfs either using google docs and any time directly without having to pay for any other tools or maybe any other subscriptions in this case what we'll be doing we'll just be trying to automate creation of timesheets and invoices directly from any time and in this case we'll be deploying a simple web app into google docs or maybe the Google Docs extensions and once we have an app script the next step will just be calling that URL via a post request as indicated on this one we'll be sending our HTML as a form your form encoded URL and we can be able to return the URL for the Google Drive and once we have this one we'll just be renaming the file and then downloading it once we have the file already we can then do the other manipulations such as sending this file to a Google Doc or maybe to the client or maybe saving it to an external device. So how does this work? In this case, what we'll be doing, we'll just be having some sample information or sample data. This is what we'll be having. We can split these items. Then we can have a clean structure. So these are the items that we'll be having. Once we split this out, maybe we'll be having this kind of a structure. And what we are more interested in, in this case, will be the task name, uh, task ID. This is what you are using to calculate the hours, task URL, and the number of hours that is spent for these tasks. So this is not being taken into consider consideration for this case. So we'll come and create our own HTML. This will be the file name. But this is not being used in this case we'll be calling our url the one which we are hosting our web app this is the information you can be sending in not uh, take note of this one but if maybe you decide to send this as a, as a json file or maybe as a json data remember to encode this as a url next we'll be sending this to generate our new invoice give it a second once we have the results this is what we can be having you can see we have the total hours uh, total number of tasks the average hours the tasks which have the urls these are the tasks action you can either view the task see the pdf and all these other information that have been generated this is much simpler compared to us having to call some external endpoints for us to perform the same action we can decide to rename this file let's say based on the task id or maybe the task number so in this case we can say let's use task id number one delete and then we'll say first item and we'll say time sheet Sheet. we rename our file so if we are to check this file again so we'll just go back to generate if we were to check this file again the name should be different as you can see here we already now have a different name on it so we rename this file download it and say so maybe we want to send this data to a gmail account this will be send email i'll be sending to my own personal account for example gmail.com subject new timesheet reports we'll say html time we have some new timesheet reports. We don't want to append the attribution in this case. We'll be sending an attachment. This will be data because that is what we have on this one. And we can send our email. This is successful. And here we go. This is not the new email that we received. These are the time reports. And if we can open our PDF, you can be able to see all the reports that we have or maybe the document that we have.
So generally what Build does is it just simplifies the whole method in terms of generating your own invoices or maybe a PDF document if just you have the JSON file or maybe the JSON information in this case the way we have here. This is where most of the magic happens. And this is this will just be generation of the new HTML from the board here. You can either decide to do this way. I'm just decided I decided to use code, it's much easier. But alternatively, you can just use a HTML doc to generate the new tables. Uh, not text, yeah, the HTML node to generate a new table based on the information that you have on this node. Yeah. So that summarizes it. That is how you can be able to create your own system. In just a second, this is the code that will be running. So you just come and create your own app script in the Google Docs. Once you have this one running, you already provided the code which will be running this way. And then you can be able to deploy this one and then you'll be provided with a simple URL. Once you have the URL, paste it into your webhook here, into your node, paste it here, and then you can be able to generate as many invoices as you need. I hope this is helpful and this saves you time and resources in terms of PDF generation from any kind of data. Thank you.